it's roughly about two years since the zoos had a giraffe on display to the general public. So it's taken some time for us in securing new giraffe for the zoo, but it's been one of our biggest requests from the general public. It's just such a demand to see giraffe here at the zoo. That's the reason why we've then gone the route of exchanging a pair of uh, log gibbons with Mystic Monkey, a facility just north of, of Pretoria, to get these giraffe here at the zoo. Um, and the reason we've gone the exchange route is that zoos tend not to commercialize animals and we rather exchange animals, not placing a monetary value on them, so we just exchange animals with them. So that's the reason for the exchange transaction, getting the pair of giraffe here at the zoo. Getting the animals used to the uh, enclosure has been quite a long process. They first of all were trained for um, just about a month where they were kept in a boma at Mystic Monkeys just to get used to being in a, in a smaller area. From there we transported them out here to the zoo. Uh, our vets accompanied them on the transport. Um, and then here at the zoo they've been in their night quarters for the last 10 days where they've been fed, made sure that they're eating, our vets get access to them, make sure that they're healthy. And then today for the first time they've then been let into the open air display area. Uh, they'll be monitored for the next uh, foreseeable future, at least two weeks we'll have somebody daily on, on site monitoring their behaviours. And then as you can see in the background we've still got the, the, uh, the sale area or the area being cordoned off by sale and this will then systematically be, be lowered as the animals get used to the outside areas. Well if you look at Blade and Mimosa they're two beautiful animals, they're really cute and there's been such a demand from the general public to have them back on displays so I'm sure they're going to be one of our, our hits for the uh, holiday period.